What's up VC, this is Brad from H2 Vinyl. Uh, this is a video that I've wanted to do uh, for quite a while, um, but uh, just didn't do it. I think I had this idea uh, before I saw any of the videos. I, I want to say that I was original, um, but I didn't act on it, so there's no originality here. But I remember uh, last year, Billy Hurst, um, Andrew, or Andy from Andy's Vinyl Den, and then also David from Nas Nomad. Um, they all put together lists uh, for 2017 albums that they wanted. Um, and so they put together a list of, I don't know, 12, 15, 18 um, albums and went uh, to seek out those albums one a month. And so I would like to do the same as well. I, I think I put together I think I got 17 on the list. Um, and, and let me tell you, uh, that list was difficult to put together. Um, not because, just because I think I've collected a lot of the stuff that I really, really, really want. Um, but then once, um, once I had five or six on the list, the list got easier and easier. I'm like, oh yeah, I want that. Yeah, I wonder how much that goes for. So all of these albums go for uh, somewhat more than the 20 or $30 um, that I normally spend on an album. And some of them are in the, uh, across the world. And so um, I may find these in the store, but I highly doubt that I will find any of these just locally. Uh, so many of them I'll probably price up on eBay um, and uh, some will, you know, I'll put, you know, buy uh, online from like Discogs or someplace else. So um, to build up a little bit more suspense, um, this list, uh, I don't expect to get everything this year. Um, one of them, which is metal related, um, it, it, it goes for 250, 300, I think it, right now there's only one for $350 on Discogs and, and I'm not willing to pay that. So unless other people um, uh, make other, other uh, uh, listings available uh, for a considerably amount of money different, uh, you know, less, then, uh, then yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. But some of these have had repressings and I've heard that the repressings are crap and so I'm going for originals um, and so yeah uh, like I said I'm not expecting to get everything on the list and I'm also gonna try and uh, budget myself to cut myself back if um, you know an album does cost uh, you know 80 90 a hundred dollars um, I'll just try and um, buy less that month uh we'll see how that goes i i, I um, find it difficult to uh not stop spending money on my addiction called vinyl <laughs> but we'll see we'll see so to continue the expense of the suspense um this uh this for this first album um i actually uh I think I, I, I paid uh, 30, I think it was 30 or 35 euros for, which is about $50. Um, it's, uh, I, I purchased it from someone in Italy, so you add another, you know, you put another 20 bucks on that. Um, so I got this album for a little over $70. Um, this album uh, is a 1998 release. Um, it's electronic. Um, it's it's a group that just one album was released in 1998 by them and then they disbanded um, I think 2003 2005 somewhere around there we didn't get anything and we didn't get another album we got several singles and I have a few of their singles on vinyl um, so uh, a couple of videos ago um, I was talking, I forget what I, I was talking about, um, I think Dr. Octagon and even DJ Shadow. 
I forget what video it was, um, but I mentioned a girl uh, at my local uh, record store back in my hometown, Co-op Records. Her name's Jenny. Um, uh, she's my age. She wasn't a girl girl, but um, uh, I remember graduating from her and just stunned by her beauty. And um, coming home from college, this was the summertime. I think she she worked at the store from you know 96 to maybe 98. Um, and since this was released in 1998, I know I bought the CD of of this um, this group um, per her recommendation. She recommended three um, artists for me, and and it, I said it wasn't DJ Shadow. She did. Uh, turn me on to DJ Shadow and um, I, I said in the last video that she didn't and I got my facts wrong um, she did um, and then Dr. Octagon and then this group is uh, the the third one um, so I think I ran into her a few times in that store as she worked there and this is um, the artists that uh, I chose this is Propeller Heads this is again their 1998 album, uh, Decks and Drums and Rock and Roll. Uh, there's really no rock and roll in this. I'm not really sure why they called it that. Um, but uh, you may know Propeller Heads from uh, Spy Break, which was um, their major single that was uh, featured in the Matrix soundtrack. Um, this is this. Jenny, I told her, um, I, I think, well, 97 was when um, uh, Chemi the Chemical Brothers' second album was released, um, which was uh, Dig Your Own Hole. And I, I don't have that here to show you. I, I didn't pull that. Um, but I was really, I was huge into the Chemical Brothers. I would, I, I mean, the Chemical Brothers was were releasing um, probably seven or eight EPs uh, based on uh, singles off their albums and um, those EPs were 30 40 minutes long and uh, they could have been maxi singles EPs I don't, I don't know but they they were incredible and I told her that that I loved I love the Chemical Brothers and she's like well if you love the Chemical Brothers you'll probably love the propeller heads and so I picked them up and, and fell in love with them instantly. Uh, very, uh, very much like the Chemical Brothers, uh, that, that quick pace, um, those drum breaks. But one thing that the Chemical Brothers did not bring in most of their music was kind of a flair of jazz. Um, and and then they, you know, that flair of jazz came from uh, jazz records that they they scratched in and and um yeah so this album i was trying to think like what the best and best way this this real quick you can see that there's some stickers here and on the back um and the condition is all right i think the the cover is very good and the and the um the vinyl is probably very good plus i haven't had a chance to clean it um, because I'm waiting on some new felt strips for my uh, record cleaning machine, my vacuum cleaning um, system. Um, but I want to do a couple needle, needle drops, even if these records are filthy, uh, because, uh, yeah, I want to give you a, a taste of what the propellers, pro propeller heads are and kind of what... Um, what uh what i love the most about them uh a couple more um uh take california velvet pants um oh yeah some of these some of these weren't on the cd like echo and bounce i don't think i've heard that um and then uh history repeating which features uh miss shirley basie um, and then uh, spy break. So some of these, uh, I like to do needle drops, and what I'll do is probably do 20 to 25 seconds of uh, not every song, but a few songs uh, that are on this album. So this is going to be a shorter video. 
Um, but uh, just celebrating the fact that I have this record in my collection. Um, it's a great record. If you have a chance to, to pick one up, uh, please yeah, do, because it's, it's, uh, it's absolutely incredible. So anyway, uh, here are those needle drops, and um, I'll finish out the video with that. And I hope you enjoy, and have a great uh, evening. It's evening right now. It's, it's going to get cold here tonight. Um, yay, it's going to be the coldest year or coldest day in uh, 2018 on my birthday. My birthday, uh, as you're probably either watching this, uh, my, my birthday is on Thursday the 18th. So um, please wish this guy a happy birthday. <laughs> anyway, um, hope, uh, hope you're all doing well. And whenever you're watching this, I'm hoping you're li listening to some great vinyl. And we will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Example of correct microphone placing. <laughs>